Greetings and welcome once again to Living Supernaturally. Thank you so much for joining us today, even as we spend a few moments in the Word and in prayer as well. Today we'll talk about the Noahic Covenant. Genesis chapter 9, verse 12 through 17. And God said, This is the sign of the covenant which I make between you, me and you, and every living creature that is with you for perpetual generations. I set my rainbow in the cloud, and it shall be for the sign of the covenant between me and the earth. It shall be when I bring a cloud over the earth, that the rainbow shall be seen in the cloud, and I will remember my covenant, which is between me and you, and every living creature of all flesh. The water shall never again become a flood to destroy all flesh. The rainbow shall be in the cloud, and I will look on it, to remember the everlasting covenant between God and every living creature of all flesh that is on the earth. Verse 17, And God said to Noah, This is the sign of the covenant which I have established between me and all flesh that is on earth. This covenant, the Noahic covenant, is found in Genesis 9, is the promise that God made to Noah and his descendants after the flood which destroyed the entire world. The Noahic covenant has several distinct, distinguishing features. First, it's an unconditional covenant. Second, it was made to Noah and all the descendants as well as every living creature on earth in general. Third, it was sealed with a sign, the rainbow. The Noahic covenant is an unconditional covenant because it does not depend upon anything upon Noah, but it, depend, it depended fully on God. The promise is based on God's faithfulness alone. Because of God's faithfulness to always do what He says He will do, we can today with certainty know that there will be no other worldwide flood like in the days of Noah. Neither the wickedness nor the righteousness of man affects this unconditional covenant. There is no condition under which God will renege on His own promise. He has promised to one day destroy the earth by fire, which is mentioned in 2 Peter chapter 3 and Revelations 20, as a sign to remind Noah and his descendants of his covenantal promise, God set a rainbow in the cloud. The lesson to us is that when we see a rainbow, we should always be reminded of God's faithfulness and His amazing grace. We should also be reminded that our God is holy and a righteous God who has a hatred for sin and who will not allow sin to go unpunished. Also. Just as God provided a way for Noah and his family to be saved in the ark, He also provided a way for you and I to be saved through the cross of Jesus Christ. The cycle of seasons of rising and setting of the sun is due entirely on the orbit of the planet, the tilting of its axis and its revolution around the same axis. While all these things are true, we must never forget that God Himself, who works through these, means to keep His promise. Every change of season, every sunrise and sunset is proof that the Lord never breaks His promises. Let's pray. Father, we thank You for the promise that you have made, O oh God. We thank you that you are a God who keeps his covenant. Lord, we are reminded today of your grace and your mercy upon each of our lives. And no matter what we are going through, God, help us to remember, be assured that you are a gracious and merciful God, slow to anger, abounding in love. We thank you. We thank you that we can put our trust in you. And we know that, Lord, you have what is best for us, O oh God. We give you all the praise. We give you all the glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 
Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.